Welcome back, friends, to the zombie apocalypse. I'm Juniper, and this is Project Zomboid. And today, uh, well, we gotta grab something to eat. Something that will help us gain weight. Uh, and today we're on cleanup duty. We need to go into the mall, and we need to do some cleanup. Why do I not have any food that's gonna make me gain weight? I feel like that shouldn't be that big of an ask. All right then, well this canned potato would do the trick. I feel like I should have something else. Oh, I have these dehydrated meat sticks. Okay, that'll work. Anyway, we are headed up back to the mall today to work on cleanup. The, uh, overall the mall is uh, pretty empty. Yesterday we cleaned it out pretty well. But we just gotta finish off the stragglers today. And uh, hopefully within the next couple of days, we can actually move permanently into the mall. So I'm really looking forward to that. Maybe we'll do some foraging. Actually, no. I shouldn't do foraging. Because if I have foraged food, I'm going to be inclined to eat foraged food. Which is not something I want to do right now. I want to be gaining more weight than I am. It's only August. We have a long time to go until winter starts. And maybe I should... Uh, should eat more, but I'm not 100% sure what the best route is to take as far as um, maintaining weight going into wintertime. Oh, but something important. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to listen to the radio this morning, um, and we'll see if, uh, how long it's going to be until we have our tropical storm, because that's really the main driver right now, getting us into the mall. Uh, well, situated in the mall, because tropical storm. I really want to have an indoor, an indoor uh, home with the tropical storm on the way. So we're just gonna park over here in the corner, and yeah, we'll go ahead and work our way through the mall today, clean up what we can. Take a look at our skills here. Uh, have a little bit of farming. Oh, we forgot to go and check our potatoes. I wonder if our potatoes are rotten at this point. Whoops. Um, okay. Well, I'm not going to worry too much about that. <laughs> potatoes would be nice to have. Don't get me wrong, but that's okay. Or I was reminded because I'm looking at our farming skill here. We've done some farming. We harvested the radishes. But that's okay. If the potatoes die, the potatoes die. Right, here's someone close by here. I'm just going to start yelling in the car doors. Hopefully all the zombies work their way into somewhere where it's easier to see them. Somebody found a door. A couple of people found a door. So yep, today's cleanup day. I'll have to figure out something to talk about. I think that we're definitely at risk of more corpse sickness, no matter what level we're on, because we've killed an awful lot of zombies on both the uh, top and bottom. Maggots. Don't eat maggots. This is my warning. We'll go ahead and pop upstairs, see what's going on. We'll probably go back to working in that, that little hallway area that we were looking at yesterday. Let's start here. We did these bathrooms last time, so there shouldn't be anybody in this corner. Definitely hear people on the side there. All right. A couple people in the hallway. We saw these guys yesterday. Thank you. 
Got anything in your backpack? Yeah, something. Deal with that later. Alright, the zombie could definitely pop out. I think there's a door right here. Okay, yeah, there's definitely zombies in this little room. Come on out. It's okay. It's gonna happen sometime. I'm not gonna let you stay in there forever. Come on. He's not gonna notice me, is he? I'm gonna have to go in there. Okay, go from the other side. Yeah, we're going from the other side. Because... Oops. We need to pull out our walkie-talkie and listen to the weather. We can fight some zombies at the same time, though. No reason we can't do that. If you're cur if you're curious, what I'm doing right now is I'm using a one-handed weapon while I have the walkie-talkie equipped secondary. So it's gonna let me do that. Toys don't need toys. Light fog today. I already knew that. I think they're saying more rain today. Really, I think it's four days until we have the tropical storm, which means that counts today. So we basically have two days after today to prepare before we have to be ready to go. Yeah, four days. How about a helicopter? We got a helicopter? Change up my plans here if there was a helicopter. Oh. You know it'll suck be real bad if we had a helicopter right in the middle of the tropical storm. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Alright, I guess we're going to the crowbar. So yeah, I'm nervous about that now. Uh, a helicopter in the middle of the tropical storm would be bad. We would probably survive, but... The thought definitely makes me nervous. All right, we have to take care of the dressing room. The dressing room, excuse me. Anybody in here? No. How about in here? Okay. Now we go to the back room. We know there's at least one in here. Okay, just the one. That's that's good. I did not expect that. Great. That was definitely spooky. Not my favorite experience. Must have been another one in that hallway that saw us. Yep, they were right there at the door, you know. They were ready for me. They were ready. It's just, that's the sort of thing this game throws at you, you know? You gotta have your wits about you, because you could have just checked this hallway, it could be empty, and right as you turn around the corner, a zombie could walk out of this room in the back here, and be exactly where you didn't think there was one. Right. Oh, that's, okay. This is the door. It looks like there's at least three in this area. Should be okay. Just mopping up. All zombies must vacate the premises. I know that you've all been inhabiting here for quite a while, uh, but time's up. Oh, this is spooky. Okay. We're gonna be real careful here. We could easily end up trapped in one of those itty bitty hallways. In fact, I'm gonna switch to the uh switch to the the axe here. This door is open. Could be a zombie here. Okay. Supply room is empty. All 
All right, good. I think we're safe. Sure is spooky, though. We just saw so many zombies pour out of this room. I mean, here they are. They're all on the ground. We're carrying too much, so we're gonna go back to the, uh... We'll go back to the axe. So yeah, we cleared every single room on this side. The last a couple episodes ago, we cleared every single room on the, uh, on the east side of the building. So now we just work our way down this side, and we'll... Oh, I didn't see that guy at all. That was terrifying. Okay. I'm very lucky there. I need to be paying closer attention. What are you? You look different than the other ones. Oh, it's like a nurse. I get it. Coming? Coming or are you not coming? Thank you for your patience. Yeah, it's a nurse outfit with a bottle of pills. I wonder what the pills do. I'm not going to test them, though. Eating random pills in the zombie apocalypse does not sound like a good idea. You know, even if they are on the body of someone in a nurse's outfit. Alright, I'm not going to go into this back room yet. Actually, maybe I am. As long as my way out is safe, I think we're okay to check this back way. Because I'm not trapped behind this counter. I've got two exits here. Alright, looks like we're safe here. What about the back door? One in the back hallway. Okay. We'll take care of him. There's a door right here to the next door, so we'll be careful at that spot. Alright, it looks clear. This is the back of the hardware store. I think we looted the hardware store, did we? No, we definitely didn't loot the hardware store. Right, because we only came up here one one time. Anyway, some good stuff in here. Be a nice, uh, nice axe or, or something. Definitely have not looted that yet, so we'll come back to that later. Alright, here are zombies over here, though. And they're bathrooms. Of course they're bathrooms. Alright, is that it? Alright, get me out of the bathroom. <laughs> the ladies' room is always scarier than the men's because there's more stalls in the ladies' room. <laughs> Alright. We're good there. Doing some good job cleaning up here. Anybody up there? Nope. Anybody down there? Yes. Ooh, that's a nasty group down there on the bottom left. Can't really see that. I'll zoom in a little bit here. Yeah, there's probably like 20 or 30 of them. Okay, that's okay. We can make that happen. We'll just take it slow. It's 11 a.m. We got plenty of uh, plenty of stamina left. We'll just make it happen. We'll see if we can get them to pour out of this area. That should make them come out a bit slower. Oh, I don't have my can opener with me. That's okay. Dehydrated meat stick it is. Ah, they're all in the uh, in the hallway behind the sushi restaurant. Nice. I hear some. Where are they? Are they downstairs? I don't think they're downstairs. No, just a couple of them heard me, so I started hearing their... Loud growls. That guy looks like he's stuck inside of a conveyor belt. That's unlucky. Alright, we have multiple exits here, so I'm not that worried. But there is this guy coming up the stairs. That makes me worried. Janitor. 
So yeah, we're gonna have to disengage from this particular cluster. And uh Hey, another level in axes. Nice, six. We have to make sure our escape route downstairs is clear. One guy here. Look at how nice and clean this area of the mall is. Isn't that lovely? Check this area too. I know we were here yesterday, but that doesn't mean that a whole bunch of zombies couldn't have moved in at that time. Looks like we're safe though. We'll go ahead and go up here. Alright, looks pretty good. I'm not that worried. I think we're pretty much done, except for these zombies that we saw in the hallway here. They should be the last bunch of zombies in the mall. There's a couple of stragglers, there's a couple of stragglers, but we will do our best to make sure they all get taken care of. I don't want to get too aggressive here. I'll wait for them to come to me. Like this guy. Perfect. Alright. One at a time. Take everybody one at a time. Four or five at a time, I guess. It's not quite what I meant, but it helps that our axe is uh, quite a powerful weapon. The decimating axe of volume. Hey look, a new axe! Alright, axe at the end of the long table. Don't let me forget. If I forget, yell at me. Because I want that. This guy's got a hunting knife. That I don't need. Don't yell at me about the hunting knife. Is that it? Is that everybody? That did seem about right for that whole group. There's a couple more. Somebody downstairs? Hmm. I think it's just this guy. Alright, anything in your backpack? No. I definitely hear one from this direction. Oh, it must be this guy. What? What is this guy wearing? Is this another Air Force hat? I think it is. No. What? Maybe that's just his hair. Alright, sorry for insulting your hair. We'll take a quick smoke break here. Keep an eye on our uh, how much we're carrying. That guy stuck in the conveyor belt definitely is having a bad day. Where are they? I hear them. Alright. Sorry, sir. If I can reach you, I'll put you out of your misery. Just in case I have to escape. It's probably not necessary, but I can jump through that window if I really have to. Uh, I can't get this guy. What the heck? Well, this is a conundrum. Alright, before I forget, before everybody screams at me, I'll take the axe. <laughs> Rochelle. Is Rochelle a character from a, a zombie TV show? Okay. We just were on the other side of this door. That was kind of lucky. Alright, I think that's it. 
I think we've cleaned out this whole section of the mall, except for this one annoying zombie here that doesn't seem to be able to move. This is very irritating. Alright, so what we're going to do is, we're going to disassemble this table. We're going to get the very first points in carpentry. Oh, apparently we did something else in carpentry. Okay, so we're going to get our second batch of points in carpentry. Because I feel bad for this guy. So here's the problem, though. I can't, if I can't reach him here, like, I just, I, I don't know what to do. Because I can pick this thing up, but as soon as I pick it up, he might be able to come get me, you know? And then I'll be carrying a very heavy thing, which would be bad. I think Mr. Zombie Friend is just going to have to live there for now, and we'll hope that he despawns the next time I load the world, you know? That's upsetting. I was hoping to clear out everybody, but... Not willing to risk dying in this situation. Maybe when I feel a bit more confident in the mall and that there's definitely not going to be anybody sneaking up on us, we will uh, we'll give that a try. Is this a door? No, this is not a door. This is the door. Alright. An empty back room. An empty hallway. This is looking real good. Looks like it's just this, uh, this one zombie. Oh, and this one, apparently. I swear this one is also a reference to something. I've seen this one a lot in the mall. Jesse's suit jacket, short beige skirt, pearl necklace. I feel like that's a reference to something, too. Alright, well, this guy is just gonna chill and have the time of his life there in the conveyor belt. I would save him if I could, but I can't, so I'm not gonna. All right, how, anybody in here? Nobody in there. I think this area should be pretty empty. We do have one stall with the, without a broken door though. All right, we're good. This office area does make me a little bit nervous, but we have multiple exits here. There's a staircase around here somewhere that'll take us downstairs. I just don't know where it is. So yeah, we'll just clear this out. Nobody in there, nobody in there. Nobody in there, nobody in there. Nobody in there. Door in here. That's the door out. Another big office. Nobody in here. Eventually we'll come through and we'll loot all of this and we'll take care of everything, but for now I'm just doing the rounds and making sure that we are clear. We don't have any uh, anything here to worry about. It looks like it must be the manager's office or something. But yeah. This is all clear. I'm kind of wondering if we need to live back here, but there aren't many doors that aren't broken. I really want to live somewhere that has doors. Alright, the last section of the second story for us to investigate is the middle. Um, like the, most of the rest of the building, I, I doubt there's going to be any back here, but there could be. There's a couple of rooms in the back that they could be uh, hiding in. Uh, the chances are kind of low, but we'll give it a shot. This is the uh, dehydrated meat uh, store. Rotten chicken foot. Gross. Yeah, I don't hear anybody at all, so my guess is that we're pretty safe here. Nothing too, uh, nothing too concerning. There could still be one. Was this a department store? Yeah, this is a department store. Alright, nobody in the department store. I think this is the door to the next room.
Nobody in here. Anything useful? Hairspray. Oh, we must be in the back of a, of a barbershop or hairdressers. You are the only one here. Are you stuck in a plant? I think they're stuck in a plant because they're not they're not killing me. Okay. Hair dye. Somebody found a door to bang on. Who found a door to bang on? It must be downstairs. We've covered every single room on the second floor now. Downstairs we go. Just waiting for there to be a zombie on the stairs here. It would freak me out. Looks pretty clean, I gotta say. But there's definitely a few more here, so we'll give this a little bit longer. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do a quick rest. We'll give this until maybe 6 p.m. or so, until we, uh, we call it a day and head home, just cleaning up zombies. Uh, if I get close to the front door here, for one, I'll start getting corpse sickness again, but if I get close to the door, I could pull in a group from outside, and I don't want to do that right now. I really want us to empty the mall. Hear you? They're over here somewhere. Maybe in this back room? Wow, look at all these dead zombies. We did a lot of work. <laughs> Alright, I think they might be back here. No? I really hope they're not around this corner. Alright, there's a handful down there by the door, but that's not the one I was hearing. I don't know where the one is that I was hearing then. Hmm. That's disconcerting. Yeah, I definitely hear one. Maybe he's on the second story and I missed him? Are we below... We're not below that the dude that's trapped on the second story. I don't know. I'm kind of spooked out by that. You know there's a couple over here. This is the door to the outside world, so we're going to be a little bit cautious here. Just see if there's anybody in the immediate vicinity. You know, there's a few in that hallway, and that's okay. If there's not too many outside, we might just try to clear out this hallway. One down there. Where did they go? All the ones that were in the hallway must be... <laughs> In the back room that I just went to. Typical. Typical zombies. They're just being jokers. I hear some. I think they must be in this back room. There's one. Where are your friends? I know you have friends. Now we're gonna shout. There's this guy. Anybody else? There was at least four of them I saw there. Hmm. They're invisible. Absolutely invisible. Alright, there they are. I don't know where they went, but I found them. I feel good about that. Yeah, yeah, 
That was a bit risky. Alright, nobody else in this hallway. I think I saw one way down there. I'm not going to get too close to this door. There's a group across the street. Small group in the street. Right, we're getting close to uh, our, our uh, time to depart. Basically checked and cleared the whole mall at this point. There's a handful of places here on the ground floor that we haven't checked. But I'm going to call this job done and we'll start moving in. Uh, we'll start moving in tomorrow. Couple guys over here to take care of first. We got a first aid kit. Right, I think I'm hearing the guy that's trapped upstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna just assume that that's what that is. Alright. So. A successful day. I know it's been kind of slow, but uh, after the hectic couple of episodes, a nice slow one seems good to me. So yeah, I will uh, I will make my way back to our campsite. We'll spend another night in the campsite, and starting first thing tomorrow, we're going to start working on moving. So thanks, friends, for joining me today. I'm Juniver. I hope you had a great time, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks.